Hi, this is Austin with Radical STEM Tutoring, and today we're going to find out how fast fan blades move. Let's look at a fan with a radius of 10 centimeters that spins at 1,000 revolutions per minute, or RPM. And specifically, what we want to find is the velocity of the tip of the, each fan blade, the acceleration at the tip of the fan blade, and the time it takes to go around one time, or the period T. Now for this velocity, first we need to understand that we're talking about the tangential velocity, or the velocity in a line that is tangent to the circular motion of the blades. Just like the relationship between the angle that you span and the arc length on the outside of a circle, s equals r theta, we can find this tangential velocity with the relationship v equals r times omega, where omega is the angular velocity in radians per second. Right now, we have omega as 1,000 revolutions per minute. Now remember, these units work just like fractions. So if we multiply this by something with minutes on the top, that will cancel out our minutes on the bottom. And we know that in one minute, there are 60 seconds. So if we did 1,000 divided by 60, we would have revolutions per second. But now we need to get radians. So if we have revolutions on the bottom and radians on the top, we know that in one revolution there are two pi radians. So if we multiply all of these out, they will come out to 104.72 radians per second. Now we can find the velocity equal to the radius in meters times our angular velocity in radians per second is equal to 10.47 meters per second. Now to find the acceleration. Because this is staying at a constant angular velocity, we know that it's not accelerating at all in the angular direction. That means the only acceleration the fan blades feel is the inward acceleration to keep them in circular motion. This is also called the centripetal acceleration, ace of c, which is equal to v squared over r, where v is the tangential velocity that we just found. So when we plug in our values of 10.47 meters per second and 0 0.1 meters, we'll find that the centripetal acceleration is equal to 1096.2 meters per second squared. Now to find the period, we'll start with the definition of velocity, where velocity equals the amount of distance that you travel over the amount of time it took. Since the period is the amount of time it takes to make one complete revolution around the circle, that means to find the period, the velocity will be equal to the circumference 2 pi r over the period t. Now to solve for t, you can multiply both sides by t to get that tv, but not television, is equal to 2 pi r. Next we'll divide by v to find that the period t equals 2 pi r over v. And when we plug in our values of 0.1 meters for the radius and 10.47 meters per second of velocity, we'll find that the period is equal to 0 0.06 seconds. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it and share it. And remember, you can book an online tutoring appointment with us right now through our Facebook page. Have a radical day.